PCOS affects us in a lot of different ways. And one of the ways that it affects us is that it impacts on our egg quality. So if you have PCOS and you're trying to conceive, I really wanna recommend that you watch this video because there is so much that you can do to improve your egg quality with PCOS. I am Tara and I'm the founder of PCOS Diet Support and I talk a lot about PCOS and the things that we can do to manage it. So let's talk about why egg quality is so affected by PCOS. Firstly, we know that women with PCOS tend to struggle with insulin resistance, okay? We, um, our insulin levels tend to be high, we, our bodies don't respond as effectively to insulin, and this insulin resistance causes the follicles in our ovaries to not develop as normal. So insulin resistance is going to impact on your egg quality. And something that goes hand in hand with this is high androgen levels. Now we know that high testosterone, high androgen, it's one of the hallmark symptoms of PCOS. But what you may not realize is that all women produce testosterone from their ovaries, okay? It is a very normal process. However, what happens with PCOS is that our ovaries are very sensitive to insulin. So in the high, with our high insulin levels, our ovaries are being overstimulated to produce too much testosterone. And that's really messing up our entire cycle. But not only that, it's really impacting on the quality of the eggs that we produce. And then the final part of the puzzle is that 85%, 85% of women with PCOS are deficient in vitamin D. And there was some research done on women who are undergoing IVF. And what they found is that women who are undergoing IVF tend to have um, a vitamin D deficiency or they're more likely to have a vitamin D deficiency. And so there is this very close link between vitamin D and egg um, quality and our fertility. And vitamin D really impacts on just about every area of our body, okay? It's, it, we need vitamin D for just about all, all the processes that happen within our body. So vitamin D is a crucial, crucial supplement for our general health and well-being, as well as for our PCOS. And I just want to mention this as well, is that vitamin D deficiency has been linked with depression in PCOS. So I always recommend that women with PCOS take a vitamin D supplement. Now, you might be saying, Taryn, why are we even talking about egg quality? Like, how is this impacting my regular life? If you're not producing good quality eggs, those eggs are less likely to be fertilized. If those eggs are not being fertilized, it is very unlikely that you're going to be able to fall pregnant or fall pregnant as easily. So egg quality is an important factor in your fertility. Now, I'm not going to leave you hanging, okay? There are absolutely things that you can do to improve your general fertility and to improve your egg quality. So let's talk about some of the things we can be doing. Firstly, we need to talk about supplements. Now, in my PCOS and fertility program, which I will link to down below if you are interested in learning more about the things that you can do to boost your fertility, I will link that um, program below. But in that program, I did an interview with Dr. Mark Ratner, who is a specialist in um, male infertility. But I had this really interesting conversation about the supplements that we can take as women and the supplements that our partners can be taking to improve their fertility as well. And there were three key supplements that came up in my discussion with Dr. Ratner. The first one is inositol. Now I speak a lot about inositol because I really believe in inositols to help us improve our PCOS. So I will link to a video over here that I've done on inositol and why I think we should all be taking inositol. Um, of the very many reasons that we should be taking inositol, inositol has also been shown to improve egg quality in women with PCOS. Also, the other supplement is NAC, which is N-acetylcholine. NAC is a very strong antioxidant. Women with PCOS tend to have higher levels of free radicals. Um, we tend to kind of go through this um, oxidation at a higher rate, so we have these free radicals in our bodies, and NAC can help to combat that, and it can help to improve egg quality. And the third supplement that I really want to recommend, which I've mentioned before, is vitamin D. So those are the three supplements that um, you should consider taking for PCOS and for improving egg quality. I will link below in the description, I will link to some of my favorite supplements of these if you would like to order any of them. So we've spoken about supplements. Now we need to speak about diet. 
Now, you, if you have been following my channel for a little while, you hopefully will know that I feel incredibly passionate on about the benefits of diet for our PCOS. And when I was first diagnosed um, 10 years ago, there was very little um, support given to me. Um, and in doing my own research, I realized that diets and lifestyle changes should be the very first thing we do for our PCOS because it can help us to get a grip on those insulin levels, so help improve insulin resistance. And it can also help us to manage our testosterone levels. And within four months of making these dietary changes for myself, I was able to conceive. So I strongly believe in the power of food. So now you're gonna be asking me, Taryn, what should I be eating? I really want you to focus on nourishing your body and nourishing your baby, okay? So we're going to be focusing on a variety of good quality proteins, fruits and vegetables. You absolutely should be having carbohydrates, but you wanna be making sure that you're having good quality, low glycemic index carbohydrates. And by focusing on this kind of whole food diet, you will do a lot to manage your insulin resistance, to manage your testosterone levels, and that is going to impact on your egg quality. So diet is crucial. Now, the next thing we wanna speak about, this is more of an environmental consideration okay you may have heard a lot about bpa and um, bpa is a it's very often found in plastics it's found in a lot of um household products bpa is found in so many different places and bpa again has been shown to impact air quality i've got a muzzy bite here i'm really itchy <laughs> it's been shown to impact air quality in fact if um in research was done where um, if BPA levels increased by um, or doubled in the bloodstream, the chances of eggs being fertilized dropped by 50%. Now, what's so interesting is that women with, P with PCOS tend to have higher levels of BPA anyway. For some reason, our body does not um, is not as efficient in getting rid of BPA. We tend to have higher levels of BPA. And that is going to impact on egg quality and it is going to impact on fertility. It, it impacts on follicle growth. So we want to make sure that we are trying to avoid environmental toxins as much as we can, especially if you're trying to conceive. We've spoken about diet, we've spoken about supplements, we've spoken about BPA. Okay, what is next? The next is to think about managing stress. Okay, and the reason that stress is problematic and you may have heard this, especially if you've been trying to conceive for a little while, you may know the impact of stress on your fertility. Stress impacts on the, um, on the stress hormone called cortisol. If cortisol levels rise, we also become more insulin resistant. Insulin resistance is going to impact again on egg quality. Now, I know that managing stress is easier said than done. We have been living through a particularly difficult time over the last year in the midst of this kind of global pandemic that we're living through. Things are not what they should be. Trying to conceive is, um, can be incredibly stressful in and of itself. So I don't say this flippantly when I talk about managing stress. But if you can find ways to improve your sleep quality, to just take five minutes just to have a breather, to focus on having relaxation, building those. It doesn't have to be hours at a time. It doesn't have to be a full spa day, but just spending five minutes early in the morning watching the sunrise, or if you're too tired for that, watching the sunset, perhaps with a glass of wine. You shouldn't be having wine if you're trying to conceive, or you should be limiting your wine if you're trying to conceive. But my point is, if you can take find some time in your day, it can make a huge impact on um, your egg quality and your ability to conceive. And the last thing that I wanna mention is that if you can improve blood flow to the ovaries, then you can um, improve the nutrient delivery to the ovaries, the removal of waste. This improving blood flow can really help to improve the quality of eggs that you are producing. Now, that sounds very abstract. How on earth, I mean, it's not like you can, I don't know, put, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty abstract when you think about how on earth are we gonna improve blood, blood flow to the ovaries? Well, there are two ways. The first way is to exercise. Any form of exercise is going to help improve blood blood flow throughout the body. So exercise is a great way to improve blood flow. And another way that you may not have realized is acupuncture. 
Acupuncture, when I started researching acupuncture, I'm always very hesitant to recommend things that don't have a lot of science behind them. And in mind, acupuncture was a very woo-woo kind of, very out there kind of thing. But actually, there's really sound medical research on the, the benefits of acupuncture for women with PCOS as a whole and for improving air quality. There is strong scientific research to support the use of acupuncture. So if you haven't considered acupuncture before, definitely have a look into acupuncture. It could really be worthwhile. Try and find somebody who is a specialist in fertility with acupuncture. Um, But those are five ways that you can go about improving air quality. If you would like to know more about the things that you can do to improve your general fertility with PCOS, to boost your fertility, to give your body the best chance of conceiving, then I really want to encourage you to check out my PCOS and fertility program. It's linked in the description below. Otherwise, I will see you again in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me.